learners for people. I'm glad you have joined me to learn through the radio program. And this program is produced by Reb with support from UNICEF. I'm teacher Mary. I'm going to teach you social studies and I said it is specifically for people. So all people learners, get your notebooks, get your pens ready and come close to the radio and where you will listen to this lesson carefully. Okay. So today we are going to learn about social economic activities in our district. We are going to learn about social economic activities in our district. And this can be found on page 6 and page 7 in the P4SST textbook. Okay? So children, can you stand up for a warm up? Can we first do this warm up before we continue? Are you ready for the warm up? Okay. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, say I am, I am. If you're happy and you know, say I am, I am. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know, say, I am, I am. Well done, children. Sit down. So, as I said earlier, we are going to learn about social economic activities in our district. Okay? So, what can we call a social activity? What is a social activity? So a social activity is where we come in contact with people. As simple as that, it is where we come in contact with people. And an economic activity is when we make, buy, or sell goods. An economic activity is when we make, buy, or sell goods. And this involves the making of money. So economic activity involves the making of money. So a social economic activity is a combination of social and economic activities. So there are two activities which go together. Because social it is when people come into contact with one another. And economic is when people make or buy and sell goods. And these two activities are combined. And it makes it a social economic activity. Okay. So in the buying or selling of goods, people interact with each other. So whenever people are buying and selling goods, they will always interact with each other. And when people are at work, they socialize with people. And this one will always be a social economic action. Can we have a short break and we continue? Come along and play Welcome back. So we are looking at social economic activities. Social, it is when people interact. And economic activity is when people make or sell and buy goods. So what are the examples of social economic activities? What are those activities which are involved in the interaction of people or where people are making money? So what are those economic activities? Can you think about them? Can you write the answers in your notebooks? Okay. So point one, agriculture or farming. Children, do you know what agriculture is? So agriculture involves the growing of crops. And farming, it can also involve the keeping of animals. That is a social economic activity. That is a social economic activity. So point two, fishing. Fishing is when people get to the lake or to the waters and they get fish from the waters. Point three, craft making. This is where people make mats, baskets, materials from crafts or papyrus grass. Point three, pottery. Pottery is the making of pots or any material things to design vessels which are made from clay. So pottery is when people make materials from clay. 
Point five, tourism. Tourism is when tourists come and visit attractive places, and that is also a social economic activity. Point six, trade. Trade involves the buying and selling of goods. And the last point is employment. This is where people have work or job where they go and get and earn a living. Okay? So we are going to look at only the social activities in details. So in the social activities, people spend time interacting with each other. So in the social activities, people will always spend time interacting with each other. And they can do social activities like playing sports together. Some people go to places of worship like church, mosques. People also attend marriage functions. That is also a social activity. And also baptism parties. It is also an act or a sign of social activity. There are so many things people can do as a social action. People also attend cultural events where they sing and dance. And also many people like to share food with each other and they have feasts together. So all those are social activities. We are going to look at the economic activities. Okay? The economic activities. So here people can grow crops and vegetables. They sell them to the market. In the economic activities, people grow crops and vegetables and they sell them to the market. People can also catch fish and sell the fish to get money. So tourists from other countries come to visit our country Rwanda. And when they stay in hotels, they also pay money to the hotels where they stay. And also, they also visit our beautiful areas and they pay money for transport and tour guides. So all those are economic activities. Can we have a short break and we continue? Come along and play with Welcome back. We were looking at different social activities and also different economic activities. So now we are going to look at the social economic activities in the neighboring districts. The social economic activities in the neighboring districts. So there are also social economic activities in other districts and some are the same and some are different. So the social economic activities will depend on many things. The social economic activities will also depend on so many things. One, the number of people who live in the district. So if the area has so many people, we shall have so many economic activities carried out there. We shall have a lot of people selling and buying goods. We shall have people carrying out different economic activities like agriculture, pottery, trade, and all that. So if people are so many in that area or in that particular district, we shall have so many activities being carried out. So also, these activities will depend on the resources which are in the area. So there are particular resources which are in an area. There are some resources which are forests, which have tourist centers. So those areas, we shall have tourism. We also have areas which have water bodies like Lake Chivo. And such areas will have an economic activity like fishing because they have water bodies. So point three, also these activities will depend on which products crops grow well in an area. There are some particular crops which grow in dry areas. And there are also crops which grow well in cold areas or wet areas. So it will also depend which area, and that's where we shall have particular crops in those areas. It will also depend on what people need or want, because people have different needs and different wants. So we shall always see certain activities carried out in those areas, because those people need those particular activities. So it will depend on what people want. And the last point, which is point five, it will also depend on how easy or difficult it is for people to meet, especially in terms of transport. 
So if it is easy for people to meet, we shall have so many social economic activities. If it is hard, we shall have very few in that area. Okay? Are we together? So we are going to look at the examples of the economic activities we can find in different districts. We are going to look at the social economic activities we find in different districts. So in different districts, where there are national parks, there are many social economic activities which are dealing with tourism or tourists. So in areas where we have so many national parks, we shall have so many social economic activities dealing with tourism. And also in areas where there are water bodies, there are social economic activities such as fishing. And we gave an example of an area like Lake Chivu. So an area like Lake Chivu, we shall find a lot of fishing. In the city of Kigali, there are more shops and businesses compared to rural areas. So rural areas, we shall find few shops, few businesses, because there are few people in those areas. And also, there is more farming in some areas than others. So areas where the soils are fertile, we shall have more farming than areas where the soils are not fertile. Okay? So we are going to look at the importance of having the social economic activities. We are going to look at the importance of having these social economic activities. So social economic activities, they help our districts to develop. And to develop means to grow and prosper. So if a district has developed, that means it has grown in activities, in the infrastructure, in the system in that district and it will prosper. So socioeconomic activities add to the development of our districts. So socioeconomic activities help our district to develop in different ways. Let us look at these examples. Employment. Employment. Employment or work helps people to earn money that they will use to buy some items that they need. So in case the district has tourist centers, many people can visit the place. The tour guides will get employment. The people who work in those tourist centers will get employment. The managers will be employed. And in that way, you know, people will have employment because of tourism taking place in that area. And also more, the district will develop because the roads are built so as to support the activities that take place in those districts. And also, because of the roads being constructed, and tourism in the district will also force the people to build hotels for tourists. So people will, will be forced to build hotels where tourists will sleep. They will open restaurants, leisure centers, and people can make crafts and pottery, will open shops nearby, which they will sell to the tourists. Can we have a short break and we continue? Come along and play Welcome back. So now, the social economic activities are very important for each district, like we said, and for every district. So earlier we had looked at tourism. And we had also looked at employment, how people will get employed. So agriculture, how will it help also to boost and develop the district? Agriculture or farming helps people to be employed. It helps people get food. So through agriculture, people will get employed and also people will get food. Then also trade will help people to earn money. Through trade, people will earn money. Then our district can pay for buildings, schools, and hotels. And our economy gets stronger through trade. And trade is the selling and buying of goods. So when our economy is strong, people in other countries will invest in our districts. Whenever the economy of the country is strong, people in other countries will invest in our districts. And the meaning of invest is to put money into a business or other social economic activities. So when people invest in our country, that means they have put money into the businesses or other activities that take place in the country 
or even in an area. Okay, so we've looked at the importance of socioeconomic activities. We have also looked at how socioeconomic activity adds to the development of our areas or districts. So this brings me to an end of today's lesson. Thank you so much for paying attention, and I hope you'll join me in the next lesson. This has been your teacher, Mary. Bye-bye.